this device you have here today? Yeah, of course. Um, basically, it's this little uh, card that plugs into the PDA like so, and it could be plugged to any other uh, smartphone. Um, and basically, this uh, little card communicates with a commercially available cochlear implant. In this case, it's the cochlear uh, cochlear implant. Um, and what this device basically allows you to to do is gives uh, flexibility to the cochlear implant users to uh, to change parameters using the screen uh, of the PDA. And, uh, and adjust the stimulation programs for different environments that they're in. So if they're in a noisy restaurant uh, or at a stadium, they might change the settings. So it gives them, so basically it has a way to interact, uh, with the, they have a way to interact with the device in order to change the stimulation parameters and optimize their listening experience. So here we have John. He is our wonderful uh, person, and uh, he is wearing the PDA platform. Here it is, and here is the BTE and the coil at both the ends. So, how do you feel, John, with this implant, a PDA? Yes, I have the PDA on. It's August the seventeenth, two thousand eleven. And it's way past my lunch time. Oh, we have to go to lunch. <laughs> I'm at a restaurant, and the people aren't uh, continuing to interrupt my thoughts. Mm -hmm. I'm not having to strain at all to hear. And uh, that's, that's a very good attribute to have. Okay. Thank that's... you for your help. I wish I had a set of these to replace my processor. So you get a sense of directionality in here. Yeah. Could you just tell me that when you went to the cafeteria, what was your impression there? Yes. Um, I was skeptical because um, I had something new and I was going to a now noisy cafeteria. So I said, I need to take my own speech processors. Mm -hmm. But as we got there and I walked into the room, I began to look around to say, the people are there, but their voices are not there. Yeah. Because I'm not overwhelmed with a hundred people in the room that's bombarding my head. So I was able to get my meal, sit down with Dr. Luzio and yourself, and we carried on a conversation and uh, it was very, very good. That's wonderful. wonderful. Actually, we are planning to give away these PDAs for take-home trials so that you can take this home and experiment with it. For example, it worked very well in the restaurant environment, so you could give us feedback in different environments. How do you think this will help you? Yes, um, I'm looking forward to that. Um, at my uh, church, I am a person that uh, gets up before 40 or 50 people and um, tells them about the activities that are going on. So I'll have an opportunity for a number of people to be talking. And then when I get to the worship center where there's a lot of people and they're playing songs and I'll be able to hear music. Definitely, it will help you. It will help uh, have the user interface, a friendly user interface, which will help you select different parameters and different environment types. Uh, and it will help you train yourself as well in noisy environments mm -hmm. and, for example, for consonants, for doing well in day-to-day -day environment. Okay. Uh, your feedback has always been very important to us, and it was a pleasure to have you here. So uh, we will continue to strive to make it more better day by day. And uh, thank you for uh, coming here and spending time with us. We really appreciate it. Yes, it's uh, very nice to be with you and to be with your camera person.